Okay, today we're going to be working on the sum of a finite geometric series. Formula for this is provided for you on the Regents exam, so it's not something you need to memorize. Let's break it down and look at what each thing is that I need for it. To find the sum, I need to know a sub 1, which is just the first term in the series. All right, I need to know r, which is the uh, common ratio. All right, remember that. That's what you have to multiply the, the ter each term by to get to the next term. And n is the number of terms. And just like before, when I was doing the sum of a finite arithmetic series, it might be convenient to be able to find the nth term of um, the geometric series. Maybe I'll be given the nth term and need to find either r or n. Okay, so a sub n is going to equal a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. All right, uh, we need to start with a correction on this. This should be 19,683. Otherwise, it doesn't work out. I'm a little typo there on the question. So make sure you change that, please. What is the sum of the first five terms of the geometric series? 1, 3, 9, and then 19, 6, 83. Okay, well, if I want to find the sum of the first five terms, uh, I'm going to have S sub n equals A sub 1, 1 minus R to the n over 1 minus R. So I need to know A1, I need to know R, and I need to know n. All right, A1 is pretty easy. That's the first term. That's 1. R is what I'm multiplying by to get to the next term. That is 3. N is a little bit more difficult here because I've got this dot, dot, dot. I don't really know how many terms there are in the series. However, if I take advantage of this formula, I know the last term is 19,683. And that needs to equal the first term times 3 to the n minus 1 power, right? So um, I can take the log of both sides here, log 19683 equals log uh, 3 to the n minus 1. I'm sorry, I kind of, I've already divided both sides by 1 here, right? So that I'll have the 3 to the n minus 1 alone. And then I divide both sides by the log of, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, sorry. I'm going to use the power rule of logarithms to rewrite this as n minus 1 times the log of 3. There we go. And that equals the log of 19683. All right? So then to solve, I'm going to divide both sides by log of 3. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right. Uh, you do that, and that comes out to 9. This better come out to an integer. That's why this number had to be changed, right? It needs to come out to an integer because it is going to be a term. Uh, add 1 to both sides, and I get n equals 10. So there, I have everything I need to find this sum. S sum 5 equals A1 is 1 times 1 minus 3 to the 10th all over 1 minus 3. All right, so 3 to the 10th. I'm going to use my calculator for that. I don't know what that exactly is. 3 raised to the 10th is... 5,949. So when I do 1 minus that, right, I get, uh, and I multiply by 1, I get negative 59048. That's 4. Right, and that's 1 times that, all over negative 2. So uh, when you multiply that by 1, you get that same number. I can divide by negative 2. And I'm going to get 29,524. S of 5 equals 29,524. Okay. S of 5 equals 29,524. There we go. Right. Next, what is the sum of the first seven terms of this geometric series? Now, this one's very similar, okay? But um, in order to find S sub n, I mean, we'll, we'll set it up here. It's going to be 1, 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Sorry, I'm used to the r. 
1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. And this is a big as uh, a sub 1. All right, well, I need to know a sub 1, I need to know r, and I need to know n. All right, and like before, a sub 1 is relatively easy, r isn't that difficult, n is where a different problem arises. I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you to figure out what that is, okay? Some of the series, some of the first five terms of the series that begins, negative 2, 4, negative 8 is. All right, well, in this case, right, uh, the sum of the first five terms is going to equal a sub 1, which is negative 2, times 1 minus r, 1 minus r, and in this case, r is negative 2, and you can tell from inspection over there. So 1 minus a negative 2 raised to the n. Well, I'm doing 5. All right, there we go. All over 1 minus a negative 2. So that's going to be negative 2. And this is going to be 1 minus, I need to do negative 2 to the fifth. All right, negative 2 to the fifth is going to be negative 2 raised to the fifth power is negative 32. So it's going to be 1 minus a negative 32. All over 1 minus negative 2, which is plus positive 2, it's all over 3. So I have negative 2 times, uh, that's going to be plus positive 32. That can be 33 over 3. All right, and then uh, I can actually, this is a factor, I can cancel 1. And 11, I get uh, S sub 5 equals negative 22. Okay. All right. This time it tells me what the sum of a geometric series of six terms with ratio of 2 is. It's negative 189. What is the first term? So if we're talking about the sum of a geometric series, S sub n equals A sub 1, 1 minus R to the n, all over 1 minus r. All right. Now I'm going to add something here because these are all the things that could be unknowns, right? r and n. All right. The reason I added s sub n to this is because, well, I know what that is. It's negative 189. All right. And they tell me uh, it's a geometric series of six terms, so n is 6. So right now I have two things that are unknown. Uh, I know it says it has a ratio of 2. Sorry, so I have this 2. So this is my unknown. So really, I can just do negative 189 equals, all right, and a sub 1 is what I'm trying to find. I'll put x in there. All right, I could leave a sub 1 if I wanted. 1 minus what goes in for r? 2. What goes in for n? 6 over 1 minus 2. All right, so I have negative 189 equals um, x times uh, 1 minus 2 to the 6th. Well, uh, 2 to the 6th is uh, going to be 64. Okay, 2 to the 6th is 64. So I've got 1 minus 64 all over a negative 1. All right. Um, at any time now, I, I'm really getting sick of this fraction here. I just want to get rid of it. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 so that I can have 189 equal to x times uh, 1 minus 64 is negative 63. All right? And then I just divide both sides by negative 63. All right? 189 divided by negative 63. It's going to be negative 3. Negative 3 is x. And that is a sub 1. Okay? There we go. Okay, continuing. How many terms are there in a geometric series if the first term is 3, the common ratio is 2, and the sum of the series is 93? So this is, uh, let's see, S sub n is a1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. And S sub n, a1, r, and these are the things that are going to be pertinent for the problem. S sub n, the sum of the series is 93. Uh, first term is 3, a1 is 3. The common ratio is 2. And uh, 
the sum of the series and that how many terms? That's n. Okay, so I'm going to have an n left in there. 93 equals, and now I'm just basically plugging in the known information. Right, all over 1 minus 2. All right, now that's going to be negative 1. So 93 equals 3 times 1 minus 2 to the n all over negative 1. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 here to get rid of that fraction. Because what I'm trying to do is get the weirdest looking part of the problem alone, right? Uh, and I'm going to divide both sides by 3 here. And you get uh, negative 31 equals 1 minus 2 to the n. Mm, I can subtract uh, I can subtract 1 from both sides. I get negative 32 equals negative 2 to the n. All right. That. Which gives me, uh, I'm going to move these guys so I have 2 to the n equals 32. There we go. I'll take the log of both sides. Log of 2 to the n equals log 32. Okay, and then use my power rule, and log 2 has to equal log 32. There we go. And now I'm going to divide that both sides by log 2. I guess I really didn't need to do this. I could have used uh, like bases. Mm -hmm. 32 is a power of 2. But it always works with the logs every time. So log 32 divided by log 2. And you get, uh, ooh, hang on a second. Oh, my mistake, I apologize. I forgot a parenthesis in that log 32. Close that parenthesis, divided by log 2. And this needs to come out as an integer. If it doesn't, you know you did something wrong, like I just did there. All right, so now I get n equals 5. n equals 5. All right, now let's just go back, reread, make sure I answered the question they asked. Uh, how many terms are there? Five terms. Yep, that's good. N equals five is my answer. I would be kind of denote that somehow. That's my answer. All right, now we got a word problem. Suppose to pay 600 rent each month. Suppose also the rent has increased each year thereafter by 10% of the previous year's rate. How much total rent would you have paid if you stay there for eight years? Eight years. Okay. Okay, this doesn't seem like it, but this is, in fact, the sum of the geometric series. What we have here is a couple issues that we have to take care of. Uh, the rent has increased by 10% of the previous year's rate. So they're not going to increase the rent every month. They're going to increase the rent annually, and we're talking about being there for eight years. So it's probably nice to know how much we're paying like, for the first year's rent. All right, And that's what we're going to consider uh, the first term. I'll do it by year. 600 times 12 is going to give me an A1 of 7,200. So, so the, first, the first term in my sequence is going to be 7,200. All right? The amount that I'm going to be multiplying it by is not like 0.1. It's actually 1.1. They're going to, they're going to charge you 110% of what they did the year before. All right? And we are doing this for eight years total, so our n is eight. Okay? There we go. We have everything we need to find the sum of the rent that we are going to pay for eight full years, right? It's going to be 7,200 times, move this calculator out of the way, uh, 1 minus 1.1 raised to the 8 all over 1 minus 1.1, okay? And this can be evaluated kind of all together, save a little time, right? 7,200 times 1 minus 1.1 1 raised to the 8th power. Okay. Enter. And then divide that by parenthesis 1 minus 1.1. And you're going, oop, I gotta, I gotta go to my syntax error. Oh, yeah, it should have been minus, not a negative. Okay. All right, so that's how much rent I'm going to pay total. All right, so the sum of the eight years' rent is $82,338.39. Okay, 
এবার 